My strategy was to focus attention as much as possible on the character of God, because I thought the biggest weakness in the church, both in the liberal church and in the evangelical church, was a grasp of the character of God the Father. So we put together this ministry, and basically what we do is that we, uh, we produce programs on videotape for adult Sunday school classes. We look around the world and we see all kinds of radically different and sometimes clashing bits of experience and of information. And what we're trying to do is to train people to think as Christians, to seek the mind of Christ, to understand that, that the, the Christian faith is not a compartmentalized reservation that has nothing to do with the rest of life. And until we understand our sin, we'll never understand what he has accomplished for us in history, in his redemptive acts, in the exodus of the Old Testament, in the cross of the New Testament nor will we ever understand our own goal and our purpose as Christians who are called to be a holy people, sanctified unto the Lord, until we have some notion of this whole concept of holiness. The Bible uses words like we're dead in sin, we're in bondage to sin, we are by nature the children of wrath. We do not want God in our thinking because He's holy and we're not. I think one of the most important things we do is, is to try to, to deepen our understanding of the character of God. If Ligonier is faithful to its foundations, and I believe it will be, we should have ourselves in the middle of a worldwide renewal of the Reformed faith. As far as I'm concerned, that's the kind of thing that you cannot program in a studio. God is sovereign. There are no maverick molecules in a universe where God is sovereign. If God is not sovereign, God is not God. I want to keep it simple. The gospel is so plain in Scripture that a child can understand it. The thing I want to get across to you is this, that unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. If God is God, if he's God at all. He's not just God of the church. He's God of the government. He's God of the arts. He's God over everything. 